This is the undergrad microwave uh, engineering and sensor lab, right? And uh, the major uh, activity here is actually two courses, EC453, which is microwave engineering, and uh, 466, which is sensor lab. One might ask what's the importance, right, of this topic. The importance is essentially all our consumer electronics, cellular phone, high-speed communication, right, uh, these days are uh, use this thing, and sensor by themselves are uh, very self-evident, right? We use that in all the cellular phone that you're using there, and advanced manufacturing, healthcare, uh, environmental monitoring. So this lab in particular is very hands-on, right? The students come here and have a capability of actually building, designing, fabricating, building the device together with the theory. So it's a multidisciplinary lab as far as sensor is concerned, for instance. The students from other disciplines can come here and, and take this lab. And uh, the truth is, it's a, a very high demand professional, radio frequency uh, engineers that have uh, expertise in microwave. Uh, so the reason is if it's a cool job, right? Cool fun stuff, pays well, and you have job when you graduate, why not come here, right? Um, as I said, it's a hands-on job. I have here some samples of uh, device that the students during the course, right, have designed, fabricated, and tested. We, we actually fabricate these devices using uh, this milling machine here, right? So one of these devices that was just fabricated here is being tested by Shear later, right? We, we see there how the milling machine works, and we, we, we test essentially this type of device here, right? That you have here. It's a bandpass filter. And um, as I said, as far as uh, sensor is concerned, right? We can you can see also Shirleka is a student here. She can talk a little bit about her work and what she's testing now. Yeah, I'm Sri Lekha. I'm an international student at UMaine in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. I'm here because I was always kind of fascinated about wireless communications and how it actually works. So that what pu that's what pushed me towards ECE. So here I fabricated a bandpass filter working at frequency of 2.4 gigahertz using the milling machine and Broadmaster software. And now I'm testing the same using a vector network analyzer. Jonathan Kincaid, uh, graduate here, spring of this year, 2020, now working at UMaine uh, Frontier Institute for Research and Sensor Technology. One of our courses of undergrad, uh, Sensor Technologies and Instrumentation course, a team of us built this circuit. Humidity control, plant watering circuit, the inner orange reservoir represents either a potted plant or residential lawn or uh, even a field of crops. So in classes like this, you're very hands-on, build something that works in the real world. And this idea, while small, can be scaled up uh, to any degree. And it's just a way to show that sensors work in the real world and gives kids an exciting, uh, exciting thing to put their hands on to demonstrate these concepts.